Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Please ask uh, you to like and subscribe. And today I've got a bit of a newer car, Mark 6 Golf, with a clutch issue. So I'll turn the camera around and show you through it. So here we are. The issue is depress the clutch pedal, bang down on the floor. Need to pull it back up. So uh, if it happens suddenly, most likely it's either the master cylinder or slave cylinder. And so I'll just go around the front. Here, and you can see I've removed the cover on the top of the engine, the airbox, the battery, and the battery tray to get at the uh, slave cylinder. Here, there's also one bar that stretches across there. I've removed that, and uh, what you can get is either the, on some cars they have a plastic rod here that can snap, or you can have the seal go and the uh, oil leak, and you can't see it because it's leaking inside the gearbox. Uh, on this car you can see it's good, you can press that in, have someone depress the pedal, check to see if it pushes out, uh, if not it's the master cylinder as it is in this case. Uh, so where that's situated, real awkward, is behind here, down inside there you can just see it, need to unhook it from there and then get at it from the inside of the car, so we'll go over that now. Okay so I'll pull the little heat shield away, that's just held on by buttons, and you can see the master cylinder's down there. Real awkward to get at, but we've got this hose here, which goes up to the uh, reservoir, shares the reservoir with the brake. We've got electrical cable, this one on the side, you can unplug that, and then at the bottom, you can just see there's the pipe there. I can't point with my hand as well, and then that goes across. And to get the pipe to drop down, as you can see, I've got real good access here at the moment. But uh, I need to undo it from that clip, and there's one more clip on the firewall there. Need to undo that. So I'll get this master cylinder fully unclipped from the outside, and then we can move inside the vehicle and basically get to pulling it through. Okay, so that's the plug taken off there. There's no way I can film you me taking it off, but what you want to do is get a screwdriver like this. That's going to be in when the plug's in and you want to push that down, flick that out uh, to unlock it and then you can pull the plug out by hand, it's a tight squeeze but uh, yeah I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile me trying to unclip from here try and pull this plug free or for now I'm just going to leave it, I think I'll still have enough room to get in at it okay so you can see down there I've got the hose out, top of it there so you want to make sure that the o-ring's still in there uh, really important when you put it back I see down at the bottom there I've uh, pulled this hose over a bit just to get it out of the way. But to get this off, there's a little spring that holds it. You need a small screwdriver to pop that out. You can see, I've, ah, it's hard to see there. I'll show you on the slave cylinder instead. And then I add my left hand down in that hole, pulling down. And my right hand wiggling the hose over from this side in here. On this, wiggling that, just to give yourself a bit more leverage to break it free. But just to show how that connection is, it's similar here, so you want to get a small screwdriver, pop that up, that'll go a bit more I think, and that'll release the spring that's holding that in, and then it's just pull out, and that'll come free. But on the outside now, I've just got the hose from the reservoir, I'm not going to insult you by showing you that, but we can go inside and start uh, taking things apart in there I guess. Okay, so I'm upside down in here now, you can see that the pedal is there. And to get out of that face, I'm going to have to remove this airbag that's going across. Uh, so that's four nuts, and I'm just going to let that hang down on the cable, not going to disconnect it. And then once that's out, I've got the uh, duct in here for the heater for the footwell. I'm going to remove that, and then there's this bracket set up in here that I'll need to come out. And then finally, I don't know if you can see, we've got the foam. I'm going to take this off, and behind that there should be three screws. And we should be able to then remove the entire master cylinder and the pedal from the inside out. Uh, yeah, I can't really show you anything I'm doing in here because it's so tight. But uh, hopefully when you're doing it yourself, you'll get the idea. If I run into anything that's a bit tricky or I think it'd be interesting to know, I'll uh, show you. Okay, in the footwell again, you can see airbags out. That was four bolts. Uh, I've taken that duct in for the heater foot in the footwell out. That was one T20 bolt holding it in, and to get out of that, I went through 
there and you can see the hallway was that was a t20 head there and then i've just moved this i don't know if it's a guard or what to stop this pedal coming back too far that's the 13 mil it was a bit tight to get up there so i've used the quarter inch drive with an extension that fit up fine uh, next up then i'll get this foam off see if we can get access to the bolts for the pedal okay guys, so i removed the foam uh, i use this tool here like a little uh, trim clip tool two of these popped off and then what i've done is i've pushed the foam up and that's going to stay up there so uh it's easy to put back later but you can see the two bolts on the bottom then got one there one on the other side uh, they're going to be fairly easy to get up from the bottom 13 mil again and then the top one Trying to get my light in here as well. Uh, yeah, that's not being picked up on the camera, but by eye you can see there's one there. And I'm going to have to use a universal joint socket adapter to get at that one. But three bolts, all the holding the master cylinder on now. And then it'll pull back through the uh, car here. So there we are, you can see the extension I've used for the uh, top bolt with the universal joint on the end. Ah. Uh, and then that there, here's a footwell without the clutch pedal, and master cylinder. And if you come out here and have a look, you can see this is where the uh, pipe goes back in, the hose I've pulled out. That's clipping out like that. Uh, what I need to do now is separate the master cylinder from the pedal itself. But uh, as I wasn't fully sure what the problem was, I was hoping it was the slave cylinder rather than the master, but we're going to have to wait for a new one and I'm not going to disassemble this until uh, the new one's here. So I think I'll leave that there for this video and then I might do one video on uh, disassembly and assembly of this and then for refitting, it's the exact opposite of taking it apart. And if you did that, then you should be able to fit. Uh, as you can see, the foam I've left up in there doing someone else's car it's always good to leave it how it was even though a lot of people uh th decide to rip it out but yeah i like to put it back how it was refit it it's not too hard yeah there we are hopefully that was informative and let you tackle it yourself uh it's not a job you need a ramp for to get underneath the car everything can be done from the top inside so you can do it outside on your drive if it's not weather's nice uh if you have any questions, feel free to leave me any comments or anything I missed or you feel like I need to go over in more detail, let me know and I'll try and get back to you. And then please like and subscribe.